Yeah, yeah, this is Gilly the King. Yeah, man, it's Wallow267, SKA, Grandmaster Low, special, special, you know, martial artist of the world. Stuff like that. Motherfucking nut ass nigga. This million dollars worth of game. Million dollars worth of game. Hey, listen, before we go any further, you know what we like to do. We like to pay homage. And shout out to who? Blow our sponsors. Listen, man, man. we raise shout out our sponsors right now. Mm -hmm. We raise shout out our sponsors, man. First of all, everythingdivaglam.com. Mm. Had you had any good hair lately? Ask yourself that. Because this nut, once again, you know, he uh he got the uh, convertible. That's convertible gill. <laughs> he got a convertible. His brain just blew out. Wow, drop top gill. You know that's your new name, drop top gill. I'm gonna start calling him like that. What do you got? Drop top? No, he's just, his hair is just drop top. You need a landing strip right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell baby, hey, Abel, you gotta get him a landing strip, baby. Get him a landing strip. But once again, man, our sponsor, everything, Deaver Glam. You know what I mean? Dot com. We also want to shout out another one of our sponsors, 81 Trucking Company, man. Mm. Trucking service, man. Anytime you want to get with them, man, they. They they do all type of transport and all type of stuff that you need, man. So they just they just take your stuff wherever you need it to. Like like if they was just you know if they it was a nut convention and they had to transport nuts like you, <laughs> they could just oh transport Lord a bunch of people. Mercy. And I'm the not on duty. Nuts, oh Lord. No, use a nut. Come Early. on, man. Come on with that, man. You can play on games. Duty, you know, Craig. You your nut. You know what I mean, <laughs> big shout out to our sponsor once again. Eighty one Truck and Service seven one. 3-259-1076, 713-259-1076. If you want to contact them, reach out, you know what I mean, and make it happen. But listen, you know what I want to say? Uh, what you want to say? I want to say, oh, you're a nut. That's, what, that's all I want to say. <laughs> well, we gonna, let's get to business, man. Let's, all right, on, listen. Man. Let's get right to right. business, man. You know what I've noticed? I did, a, I did a little study. I did a little research. What type of study? Weekend, what right? type of study, man? Because I wanted to know, you know, who who cheating more right now? Was it the men or is it the women? Or and I found out some disturbing things. Oh, tell so, tell the people, tell the people what you found out. I got a chart here, right? Okay. And it says that today's millennial generation of women are cheating on their husbands slash boyfriends at an alarming rate. Alarming rate. And this is unbelievable. Like if you look at this chart, look see. at the blue. The that's chart. that's unbelievable. You hear me? Wow. That, that's unbelievable, isn't it? They getting busy. They out here getting busy, too. So to all the fellas who, because a lot of y'all be thinking, yo, y'all y'all, y'all got the one. They say the younger women in relationships cheat more frequently. Right. Hey, 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 y'all be thinking y'all got the one. All these young fellas out here, you be thinking you got the one. I got it. And the whole time she's a thought pocket. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you hear me? But let me tell you something about women. They do it better than us. Yeah, we think we we think we so smart. We think we, think we got so it all figured smart. out. We think we huh? so slick. Huh? Guess when your woman going to cheat? When you think she not? When your woman going to cheat when you think she at church? You hear me? Well, who, the pastor? But you got to ask her. What's she going to cheat with? Fuck was you with Reverend Sheets? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck you with you was at Saint Mattress, <laughs> Pastor <laughs> Lair, getting a holy water, sucking a holy water out of the stick. Uh, what, what was you with? You was with Pastor Pillow, bitch. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> Let me tell you something. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, these women gonna cheat when you? No. These women gonna cheat. When you don't think they cheat and they smarter than us. That's why a lot of violence happening out here. Cause listen, since the beginning of the time, wars have been started over that thing. Over that, over that, over that guy. That yeah. thing, that thing, that, that thing. thing. That thing. That nigga. thing is a <laughs> that thing, man. Listen, man, change. Listen, man, I done seen cold blooded chumps, man. Mm -hmm. Turn into warriors about that thing. About that thing. I'm talking right. about top flight wood. Ah! Ah, no. <laughs> God damn. They God damn nigga. I can't believe I'm going to kill everybody. Gotta go. Everybody going to die. <laughs> nigga, kill everybody in the house. Knock the yeah, fish bro. tank over. Everything got to go. Kill a dog. All that. The, the flies and all that. The mice. <laughs> everything get exterminated about that. That thing is dangerous, man. I'm talking about, man. I'm talking about people have exterminated the whole, everything moving in the crib got to die. The water. Oh, kill the water. <laughs> Snap about it. Hey, that hey, thing, man. Listen. Hey, listen. And to be all way honest, man. Vagina is the is the most dangerous drug on planet Earth. No, on some real stuff, we're going to talk, be, be straight up. 
Regina dictate the pace of everything. Mm-hmm. A dude went asked me, tell me some damn, well, you know, who control the street games? I said, that thing. Mm-hmm. That thing control the street games. Cause you a dude would be like, damn, you know, you growing up as a kid in the ghetto, a lot of people are like, why is this happening? Why are these little boys? I don't want my little boy to grow up. Ho ho. A lot of times the women create the environment and they create the mindset for when I was a young boy, I used to see older women, these beautiful women. And every time I seen them, they was getting in a drug dealer car. Or they was getting in somebody's car that had a lot of money that had things. Mm-hmm. So me being a little kid growing up, they're programming my mind that I gotta grow up and get some money. Because you, you, you want that, you want that pretty much that pretty girl. In your car. So, so women dictate the whole pace because a woman to say, "I don't want my son to grow up and be this and a third, But you messing with a street cat. Mm-hmm. You messing with a cat that's out here operating outside of the law, putting it down. However, you know, you know what I mean. I'm not trying to judge you because everybody had a moment in life where they be living outside of the law. But you out here messing with the people that you say you don't want your son to grow up and be like. So at the same time, you sitting there and you like, yeah, I want. To. No, listen, listen. They dictate the pace of all this. They control all this. We be sitting here thinking, oh, yeah, I just checked her. I totally know. You think you checked her. You checked her right in the, listen, all you did was check her right in the Raheem hand. As soon as you leave out the crib, what? I'm tired. I'm telling you, you ain't going nowhere. Keep your, yeah, she stayed in the house all right. Raheem came through. The boy Bobby, Bobby Backblow came through. Blew the back out. <laughs> Ricky Blazer, the donut glazer. Huh? I hate Ricky Blazer. I hate him. Don't even mention him. <laughs> Don't mention that, man. Don't mention Ricky. Because Ricky glazed your bitch don't back even, in the day. Don't even mention Ricky. Because Ricky glazed your bitch back in the you, day. I told you, man, I hate Ricky, man. <laughs> he glazed the shit out but your not, bitch. Not the only thing that I'm mad about Ricky because, all right, we understand I'm a martial artist, but I, you know why I hate Ricky? Because Ricky carried that pistol. He carried a pistol and he could fight. Mm-hmm. And he was a pretty boy. That was the worst. Like he'd beat you up and he was a pretty boy. Uh, he definitely. Beat you up, talk dirty to you. One of the boys, that he, when, he, when he sucker punch you, fall into the ground, he kick you in your ass. Shut up, you nut. And you like you just gotta deal with it. So it was like you just gotta hate Ricky from a distance. Like, yeah, he he Oh, Keisha, I can't believe it. You got Keisha. Ah, why? Why me? You just gotta go and cry and swing in the air like you did. I mean, like you did when that boy sucker punched you in the joint, like 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 Cuba Good. That boy said, ah, ah. And then you gotta get your composure together and try to figure out, Keisha, could you Keisha, tell me it's not over. Tell me you're not gonna choose Ricky. Why, Ricky? Hey, hey, hey you just gotta hey, hate hey, on him. Hey, you can't hey, say I'm gonna keep Ricky. it all the way real though. Back in the day, when, when Ricky slice, when Ricky slice and dice on you, bitch, you was mad as shit. I can't do that. You, you was goddamn salty into the goddamn Eddie Ed's pretzel. You hear me? You was. I'm hot. salty thinking about it because it's, like, it's was like it's on no fire. You could have broke a brick and drowned the fish. It's you like was so it, mad. It was like it's no revenge. You, you can't hey, even listen, revenge. nigga. I care. I will never forget that. You was the come fuck on, man. on come fire, on, man. man. Let's go don't to the main house. Yeah, don't be trying to reconnect me with the past. It's painful, man. I you might start talking stuff. about Ricky. Ricky catch you out here and knock you the fuck out. No, Ricky in trouble. <laughs> if I run into Ricky, he might be in trouble. But see, the no, only you... reason he might be in trouble because he, he, he probably still operating that pistol. I ain't going to – I'm going to just keep moving. I ain't going to say nothing to him, but I want to step to him bad. Like, what? Come on, let's get it. What? Come on. Yeah. Over, yeah. over, over a bitch from 24 years ago. <laughs> that is nutty, ain't it? I'll be a nut to do that. I ain't going to do that. That's nutty. <laughs> I ain't rubbing her. That's you nutty. Ass nigga. You, are, you done got April. You are rubbing him over a bitch. She all fat and out of shape, bitch. Built like a fucking vacuum bag. She got out the vac- game, huh? Stuff vacuum bag. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready to fight Ricky because he fucked your bitch who built like a stuffed vacuum bag 24 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> bitch built like a bag of ice banged up against a tree. That. She was everything. <laughs> She was everything. She was everything to me. She was a beauty. Hey, she was a beauty. Let's get a million dollars worth of game. I love her. So, uh, my heart this? still hurt. This is a woman. She says, uh, "My man got locked up for seven years on his oh, third man. gun charge. Oh man, he's been down for two already, and I've been holding him down. I love him. Oh man, everyone tells me to move on because that's my whole twenties. But would I be wrong to have sex with someone else? I have been faithful." This whole two years, but I don't know. We've been together for forever, and I've held him down on his first two and a half year bid. I don't know what to do. I'm 24. Help me. Well, let me just tell you something, baby. Oh my God! Right. I don't even want to be the it's, bearer of bad no, news. No, 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 no. It's a, it's a, it's a um difference between being loyal, being faithful, and being fucking stupid. All right. This a nigga second bid. Nigga going down. He didn't know you already did two with him in his first bid. Now you're doing this two with him. You didn't did two out of this bid with him. This is gonna be ten years. You're gonna wake up, you're gonna be 30, ain't getting no dick. You you're gonna be behind time, you're gonna be behind eight ball, baby. Let me tell you something. 
Every nigga that go to jail and get more than five years should understand this. This is no longer your bitch. Oh, this whoa, is whoa, our whoa, bitch. Whoa, five years? Yeah. Six months. What are oh, you talking about? Five years? Right, I'm not okay, putting cool. it on anybody. I, I'm but just saying. I'm, God I'm damn, giving two. I'm giving two five old, years. Though. I'm giving two to five years oh, for a nigga. Uh, goddamn, sl- lay it down and spray it out. I'm not speaking on that, <laughs> but I'm gonna say this, this. Let me speak on this department. Now we got to take it from. As you, I'm gonna give you. The, I'm gonna give you the the, 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 the true raw stuff. We're gonna take this to stories from a cell. No, no, no. Hold on, but let me finish giving him some more game, though. No, no, no. You're not qualified. This, but this is my department, buddy. Oh, this is your department. This story's from a cell. Why? Because you, because the bitch left you when you was in a cell. No, you called no. me crying. No. Ah, shut the fuck up, man! I'm full of niggas and they stab you in your fucking neck, man. Crying on the phone. Tears on the phone. Well, fuck, grow man in listen, jail. Can't listen. catch his breath. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't just say me. <laughs> try to, nigga, hold on, wait. You Tears ain't trying to give me, you didn't try to give me right, right around there and see what she, I'm not going around no. there. <laughs> you lying on me. Doing? You lying on me. Roll around there and see what she, yo, cousin. Right around the car. Just make, see if it's see one of the house niggas house from the block. Dog, I'm not <laughs> being, don't do that. I'm, don't not, do that. I'm not being expected gadget. Don't do that. Don't do that. Private eye. Don't do that. You're killing me. Run around here. You're killing me. Hold up. Spying on your bitch. No, no, you're killing me. From across the street with the binoculars. No, you're killing me. Definitely. you killing me. Ricky Blaze and the donut glaze are going in there. You're lying on me. I did not tell you that. You what I said. You I'm going to tell you what I said. I'm going to tell you what I said. I'm going to tell you what I said. I said, tighten up. Listen, I'm going to tell you what I said. I said, tighten the fuck up. You couldn't catch your breath. I'm going to tell you what I said. I was like this. I was like this. I'm going to tell you what I said. In this segment, this is called Tears on the Phone. As I was crying, listen. Listen, if you happen, and this is what I said. I said, if you happen to, uh, to drop out a block, if you just it's just so happy you're driving down that street, let me know the temperature. Let me know what's going on. Uh, I need to know. I would do it for you. I said, just let me never, know. But I was if like, I'll never drive that block. But just so happy down that block. If you happen to drive through the block, please let me know. That was, that know was his way asking yeah, me to drive through the block. And he just that, to drive through I miss the block. my baby. That's how I was. I was going crazy. But the whole thing is this. This is the whole thing. Stories from a cell. This is a deep story. So she the mind, right? I never listen. This this is just crazy. We in greatest for a prison, right? So we kicking. He got a shorty that was moving out for him, moving out spectacular. But news flash <coughs> to everybody on the streets. I'm gonna just let you know this: when you go to jail, you gotta share your girl. Nobody's gonna tell you this, but I'm gonna be wrong. She's and tell no you. longer yours. She's she be- ours. She belonged to. It's not singular. She it's belonged plural. to. You. She belonged to y'all. You and him. Uh-huh. You and the guy. That Jody said- got your bitch. Do they still say that in jail? No, no, they'd be, like, be like Fat Mike, Kev, oh, oh, okay. Boo Boo, stuff like that. they oh, going to say, the dude name usually come out. And you know what happened? A dude would be on the phone trying to get the data like, yo, who she messing with? And listen, your sister, your mom, and them, them people know. They don't want to tell you nothing. they be like, no, man, girl, don't worry about that girl. Man, just get, come on, you ready? Do your time. Worry about your time. they try to spin you off. Mm-hmm. And then dudes always be prying. And then one of, he called one of his homies, you know, somebody might be on the phone. Was, who out there? Crazy Dave out there? Yeah. Shoot him up out there. Put shoot him up on the phone. Yo, what's up, bro? Oh, man, I'm out here. What you doing? I'm out here shooting him up. Oh, man, it's going down, man. Yeah. Shoot him up. So what you doing, though? Shoot him up. I'm shooting him up. Yeah, I'm, I'm sliding on anything. I'm sliding, man. You know, I'm out here sliding. I ain't playing out here. I'm ready to be up there with you in a minute, bro. Yeah, I got about 20 years in me. I'll probably do 30 because I'm a rider. I ain't playing. So shoot him up. Get right. And he, be, he don't want to ask shoot him up, but he asked shoot him up. Shoot him up, uh. Yeah, man, what's up with Keisha, man? How Keisha doing? And this is what shoot him up, no, say. Shoot him up, go right in, hold up. Niggas out here shooting up, it ain't about nothing. <laughs> she, she getting shot up. Dude just caught a shooting on her last night. But no, a dude that asked some crazy stuff. Who is he? What's his name? She messing with Fat Mike. What Fat Mike? Kareem, brother. You know Kareem the Mill, man? She's messing with Fat Mike. Fat Mike, he ain't nobody, he ain't doing nothing. And what's name? No, he out here ripping. He got a new Benz. He got a Benz? Oh, my God. I'm done. Yeah, no, I mean, hey, and then he go on his show, and then, man, it ain't about nothing. I ain't worrying about these, man. It ain't about nothing. I'm going to get out there. I'm going to shit on everybody. This then the third. What you mean? Oh, listen, I don't care about her. I don't even care. Oh, yeah, pass the phone back to woods. Yeah, man, but last time, you know what's crazy? My man Mike shot up, too. <laughs> shoot him up to tell everybody anything. Everybody shooting up. Everybody mad. You know what I mean? They'll be at the end of the day, though, it just be like this on some real stuff. When you go to jail, you got to understand this. She didn't get locked up with you, even though you might say yeah, to yourself. Right, that pussy did not go to jail with you. You might say to yourself, like, yeah. at the end of the day, life don't stop because you went to jail. And if you was out here <coughs> laying her, slaying her, and spraying her, somebody else is going to be laying her, slaying her, and spraying her. That's the reality of this. But let me tell you this story. So my homie, he doing his thing. 
Got a shorty moving out for him. She yeah. coming up to see him. Hey, we we down greatest for penitentiary. You know, that's like forty minutes outside of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. He had about a he had about a like uh, five to ten something like that. Mm -hmm. in. he only had, he had like three years in, so he was ready to slide. Somehow he got hooked up with his chick. Through his, you usually get hooked up with a girl from your sister, your cousin, your 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 your, 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 your homie your, girl, your homie girl that got the salon. Mm -hmm. Somebody hooked him up, but I don't know how he got hooked up. But he got hooked up, and this girl was moving and grooving. Yeah. She was up there a week, being the first. You know what I mean? You want your girl to be first when you when you doing a bit. You want her to get out of them steps. Yo, get out of them steps first. Give me the tune to hold you out there. Get all my stuff because it's like a joint in the joint. You know, dudes being the joint. Like yeah, she always here first. I'm like yeah, every week. I was that boy out there. I'm that guy. Mm -hmm. They know me. I got money. So however that go, right? So she moving out, right? So one day, boy come down from another jail. He he get transferred from it because everybody trying to get. If you live in Pennsylvania, you know what I'm talking about. But in Pennsylvania, Greatest Four Prison was right close to Philadelphia, and the closer the prison you is, the better the visits get. So bang. Mm -hmm. So this boy got transferred from down the mountains. He slid in the cell with him, right? Like yeah, I just got to sell you from something. Something like damn, that's what's up, man. That's cool, man. That's down the third. Boom, boom, boom. So they that's the cell now. They kicking it. So. They get to talking in the cell one day. <coughs> Excuse me. He showed the, he showed the dude, like, yeah, my shorty be riding out this time through. Like, damn, let me check out. He showed her the shorty. She moving the, she moving the groove. And the boy, he said, yeah, the boy just looking at the pictures real good. I'm like, I ain't paying him no attention. I'm watching TV, making me a cheat sheet. You know what I mean? So he just say, damn, bro, I'm at the move, man. It's cool. You know what I mean? I ain't, ain't no problem with you. I just got to move. I can't be in here. He said, damn, why you can't be in here? No, that's my baby mom. This time third, right? So the whole time, the baby mom. She going to that jail and that jail, but she playing a part. You see I me mean? for both of them. Right. She don't know this dude got a, he's thinking he going to surprise and pop up down graded for her. You know, he got a transfer. She don't know that he down there yet. You see what I'm saying? This is like the first two, two like the first night dude was in the cell. So it's like now it's like he's sick. So yeah. my man tell me, I said, oh, man. So he like, damn, why I'm playing, man? What's up? You think I got to watch this boy? You think I get a piece or something? Got to get some equipment? You know, equipment is that. That's that, that's that whack. Yeah. You got to have your equipment on you. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm saying. He like, you think I, I said, man, I don't, I don't know how deep it is, man. But I'm like, damn. I said, you showed him. He said, man, he was looking at them pictures hard. You know, mostly all the pictures, you know. She's sending him pictures that he ain't even. She sent right. me pictures she from the streets. She sent him pictures with the goddamn cakes out. No, I don't think damn. he showed him that. He had some. I don't think he showed him that. Uh -huh. But like the visiting pictures, like yeah. regular pictures, he just taking yeah. out there for him. But yeah. she was moving and grooving for this boy. But she was going to see boy, her baby father. But she wasn't going to see him like that. Right. She was going to see him. So he was just like destroyed. Like, damn, they only had one kid. He like, damn, this is dirt. dirt. Her whole thing is like. So when he came down, he had to, he had to come off of one of their lists. So she told her baby father, says, you got to take me off that list. Like, this is my man now. This is how I'm rocking. You know? Damn. And he heard, just imagine hearing so that. So one know. thing's for sure, two things, one thing's for sure, two things certain. That nigga vernacular was spectacular because he booked her from the prison. Yeah, he booked her. Yeah, what? Man, listen, man, that, that's where it all go down at, man. That's, I used to write letters for dudes in jail. A lot of dudes, just because they got money, a lot of dudes, you think dude got money, dude, just, a lot of dudes can't read or write. I used to like write a lot of letters for dudes in jail. Right. A lot of times, you know what I mean? Just, whew, I was I was getting them in there. Right. You know what I mean? Starter letters. It might be a starter letter. Say you might just meet a, somebody so just plugged was, up with a girl. Niggas was niggas was in there like But neither. No, no, uh, no, 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 dudes. I love you. No, dudes would be straight I up about it. Can't <laughs> wait to, to oh, come get on, don't back. Be, don't be making home fun of people. Because I used to come and, read. And, and you was, don't do that. I used to come read. And you read, was in there writing that shit down. I had to learn how to read. <laughs> you was in there writing that shit down. Let me tell you something. Well, if you if when you was 10. If you was more interested in books instead of snatching fucking earrings, you would have knew how to read. Nah, I ain't sorry for you, motherfucker. But I'm going to say this, Fuck though. You, you, say this you think I'm sorry because a motherfucker can't read? Well, tell a motherfucker he should have been paying the fuck attention in school this. when oh. it was reading fucking time. No, and he wouldn't be out here talking about, nigga, at a restaurant talking about, can I get some, uh, some, <laughs> some script Lamborghini? <laughs> what, nigga? <laughs> can I get some script Lamborghini? <laughs> what? <laughs> Shrimp linguini, nigga. You what? Scrimp Lamborghini. The, the car kind. <laughs> the shrimps in the car. Y'all got them in the car in here. I need them. Yeah, nigga out here talking about, man, you caught me by the elephant of surprise. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Hey, hey <laughs> you want me to be sorry because the motherfucker, well, he should have paid attention. <laughs> Fuck is wrong with you. At the end of the day. Back to my man, I'm, you know, dudes out there that's operating outside of the law. Learn how to get, read. No, it ain't just that. It ain't just that. It ain't just learn how to read. Get listen, an education. Listen. It's not just, listen, it's not just learn. <laughs> For you be up the old commissary. Can I get some doodles and doodles? Can I get some doodles and doodles? Some, some little, 
Little Debras. Little Debbies. Can I get some little Ebbies? Little Debbies. But whatever, stop that. But listen, I'm going to say this, though. The reality is this, though. When you out here, you operating outside of the law, and you in the game, there's two ways you can look at it, because you're saying to yourself, every time I make a move, I'm buying her stuff. I'm paying for these bills if you're doing that. There's only a small percentage of dudes that do that. Because a lot of dudes out here chasing drip. And then you got a lot of people that's out here, they just, they not even getting no money. They just putting in work to just be putting in work to say they're part of the street operation and part of the street game. Mm-hmm. And well, you, well, they call, we call them niggas that, you know, they just throwing rocks at the penitentiary door just, trying, to, trying to get in. That's and they not, decorating uh, the environment. That's they, what they doing. Right. They just waiting for but the But I'm going to say this, though. For, I will, the, for the gates of the penitentiary or the this, gates of heaven to open I would up say for this. Them. <laughs> I would say this. Don't get the. Don't get to jail and want to be a relationship specialist and focus on, yeah, you know, because this is the joint. I done seen a lot of dudes do this because I used to trip because everybody do it. You got dudes, <laughs> no, you know what? I ain't know, you know, you was right. I just want my family back. I ain't got time for none of this shit. I'm coming out here, fuck everybody. Mike, Mike, Boo Boo, Kareem, Lil Shoot 'em Up, Lil Bang Bang, Lil Drive By, fuck all of them. I just wanted to be about us. I like you. Keisha, Nene, Kiki, Didi. Damn, you was cheating with all of them. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, I was I wasn't cheating with all of them. I'm just saying, baby. I want to be real with you. I want my family back. Don't wait to get to jail and be on that shit. Uh huh. So, you know what I mean? If you got a, if you got a good woman, you better play your part now. I'm going to keep it real. You better put together I'm going to tell you like this. You're going to be up there. You run around here on these streets, right? You're stabbing bitches like OJ. You hear me? Leaving bitches dead on the bed. You hear me? Fucking the brakes off these bitches. And then you want to get to jail and scream, I want my family back. It's too late. Cause Cause they go you, on the streets giving your bitch that family pack. Because I'm going to tell you right now. You hear me? The whole dick and balls. Once you go to yes, jail. He's getting a, once you she's go to getting jail. a whole pack. So you don't be screaming. I want my family back. And a nigga out here giving your bitch his family pack. <laughs> you hear me? Don't wait till it's too late. <laughs> hey, that, was, that was one of your first sayings. Don't wait till it's too late. Oh my god! Oh my god! You hear that? Oh my god! He's coming! He's coming! Who is that? Who is that? Ah! It's Baby Leg! It's Baby Leg! Yeah. That's Baby Leg. Who that is? That's, that's Baby, baby Leg. I think that's, that's Baby, baby Leg. Who, Who that, that is? That's, that's Baby Leg. Because Baby Leg gets your girl, you done. No commissary money, no visits, no pictures, no mail. Baby hey. Leg. When Baby Leg hey. come, you're in trouble. Hey, baby leg, hit, baby leg hits your bitch. It's over. He hit a he splitter. He done. Yeah, I mean, he delivered 30 minutes on time like my fucking dominoes. Come. That boy okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then it'd be sad like somebody got killed. But when your sister tell you, it's different when you were just, you're like, this yeah, is like, I'm babe, listen, I don't even think, bro, big bro, I don't think you want to know who, he t- who she messing with. No. You know, I, you know, dude be like scared like it's a killer or something. Like, I don't think you want to know. Who is it? Listen, bro. She's messing yeah. with BL. No, she gonna be like, she gonna say it with fear, cause she 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 gonna say it with fear in her heart. <sighs> bro, I she messing with baby leg, bro. <laughs> baby leg got her. Baby leg. I'm talking hey. about he gonna be like, who baby leg? <laughs> oh, hey, my, baby hey, leg got hey, my family. Hey, hey, what's the song that's gonna play in the city? And Harley gonna say, who that is? That's, that's baby, baby leg. leg. <laughs> he got that's a baby, baby leg. leg. <laughs> who that is? That's, that's baby, baby leg. <laughs> you done. You gonna be in the, you gonna go back to the cell, sit on the bed, grab your head. But you, you know, that's when you that's when your two hands drop in your head. And you said, like, Sally, what's up? What's wrong? Somebody got killed? What happened? He was going to look up. And he's going to look at his Sally. His Sally going to be like, say it ain't so. Don't tell me, Sally. It was Baby Lake. He got you, too. Baby Lake got you, too. I can't believe it. We going to kill that nigga. He got to die. Somebody got to kill him. This shit got to stop. This Baby Lake got to be stopped. Hey, don't be that nigga. Don't yeah, be him. Be. So, so why you out here playing your part? Don't be him. Cause that call, that's gonna be the worst call you ever got in your life. You going your heart gonna break. Stay out <coughs> here, take care of your business. Cause what, what, what happened when Baby Lee got your bitch? You cried, nigga. You was on the phone talking about drive through there, cause if it, see, see. <laughs> I ain't say drive through there. I said yes, if, you, you if you happen to be driving through the block, <laughs> let me know the temperature, check the scene, check the whole scenery out. Drive through there, real in the field. See, see who hit it. Please, like, please let there. me Fuck know. What you talking I... about? <laughs> And then I woke up, I was in the infirmary. I was in a prison infirmary. I was in the hospital. I didn't know what happened. He said, you just fell out on the phone. We don't know. We don't know if you had a heat stroke or a heart attack. I woke up, I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> that ass nigga was sick. I was sick. Damn, dog. That must, that must, was that, let me keep it all the way real. Was, was, was being in prison at your lowest point 
and finding out a nigga's out here blitzing your bitch like it's fourth and inches, ball on the goal line. Mm-hmm. Was that like, how did that make you feel like? Listen, man, I was, listen, I was, listen, at the end of the day, it's like, you know how it made me feel. You was on the phone with me, man. No, you, but I, I couldn't see your face. I you was a barrier of bad news, and I think you liked the fact that you was you was killing I me did, like that. I did get a little excitement out of telling you because yeah. you you was going through it. I was listening. I was on there going through you it. You was <laughs> couldn't catch your breath though, cause yeah. you was on some nut shit. Like I was listening. That's, was, a, oh, you, that's the only time I ever talked to a nigga from jail who cried and could catch his breath. I had to. Like, I was, was wondering, like, like, is, was was like his life is in danger? Like, is the rest of these niggas looking at this nigga on the phone crying like this? You don't know, too. Like, you don't know but, too. Huh? If Baby Leg ever got yours, you would have knew. It's a different feeling. The <laughs> Baby Leg get on the scene, is over. <laughs> Everything stopped. You think about life. You think about your journey through life. That's what shit. You start thinking about kids you ain't even have. Ah. Listen, listen, listen. I don't listen, want to listen, 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 listen. That's what I was really going in. And you know what's crazy? I told my cellie that. I said, listen, I came in the cell, right? I don't right? want to around my kids. I came in the cell, right? After you come in the cell, right? You swing in the air. You do the cubic again. Uh-huh. I'm killing nigga, I'm Kelly. I'm telling you. She, she better, I'm telling my mom. She better have her around my daughter. She better have And my cellie was like, I thought you ain't had no kids. I was like. Damn, you right, but no, I'm just saying. She had around my door. I'm telling you, I'm going to kill you. I'm telling you, I'm going to kill you. Come on, he's in the boys through the block right now. Spray the block. Spray the block. You going to shoot them up in them niggas? Shoot, shoot them up. Where you at? Shoot the block up. Gil went around through there. Yeah, he went around through there. Gil a sucker. He's a sucker. I had Gil to ride through there for me. Holla at Baby Leg. He told me, fuck out of here. He said, Baby Leg, he get anybody, bro. Yo, go call me another ass nigga. Shoot him. I'm going to Baby there, Leg. Bro. Y'all acting like y'all scared of Baby Leg out there. Y'all chubs, y'all cowards. <laughs> <laughs> you know that ass nigga. What's next on the, on the agenda, man? Listen, man, we're going to tap into something that's very important in our communities, right? And the community in the hood, right? When somebody come up, you know the first thing that we say as soon as we start getting money, we start doing good for each other. Good for ourselves. The first thing we say, I don't owe nobody nothing. <laughs> yeah, I don't owe nobody shit. Yeah, that's the I don't typical nigga shit. train. Newsflash, I, wanna, I, I, I got a message to all rappers. I got a message to athletes. I got a message to stars. Anybody that was, that was, in, that was pumped and supported and pushed up from the, from the environment, from the hood. Because when you first start, you have an idea you want to do something. <laughs> and the hood supports you. Mm-hmm. What the hood do, let me tell everybody, the roots hold up the tree. So the bottom dictate the top. What the hood do is, the hood is a ladder. And what it do is it, it just give you more steps. As you get hotter and hotter, it give you more steps to step up because you push you and encourage your, your whole agenda, whatever you got going on. So as soon as dudes say, they, oh, I don't want to, listen, we got to start spending our influence. Let's talk about spend your influence. And the people that's in position now, they got the bread. We're not talking about spend your money. We're talking about utilize the connections that you have with different brands, with different people in position. So you could do things for your community. Okay, give them a give them an example. An exa- example. Okay, of what? like like for prime example, what he's saying is, me and Wallow is very influential in the community. So, what we do is we hook up with people like Dennis Auto, and we say, okay, listen, y'all want to be a big staple in the community. We already a big staple in the community. Let's find a family that's in need, and let's give a car to them. You feel what I'm saying? Let's give back. Let and it didn't cost us any money. No, and in, in order to receive, you know, you got to give back in order to receive forward. And at the end of the day, I'm talking about like this: some of these athletes and all that stuff. You got deals with sneakers company. You got deals with what's name. You got deals with such and such. And it ain't. And listen, it ain't never too little. It ain't never too. It ain't. It ain't. Right. It, ain't it ain't never too little. So whereas though you could get into tapping the things, and whereas though you could really get to your community. Mm-hmm. But I mean, so it's like. It, it, it can be small. It ain't got to be big, but it can be something. Where you could, though, you could just be donating your time to a rec center. Or you could be helping these kids get something. Or you create institutions. When I say we got to start creating institutions, and I'm not talking about physical institutions. I'm talking about sometimes mental institutions for the mind. I ain't talking about for create. I'm talking about the institution of a way to do things. 
mm-hmm. a way to establish things that we can start establishing for us. You know what I'm saying? For the kids and all that stuff. Because it's like, we just get that money, we go crazy. I don't care how you spend your money. I'm not never telling you to spend your money or none of that. I'm talking about connect with the brands and everybody that supports you because we're living in a time where everybody is so ultra hype over rappers and celebrity. Oh, I want to be, I want to be next to that. And I'm talking about these big corporations and brands. Everybody, people with money, they just want to stand close to a rapper and say, come here. Yo, rapper, I know this rapper. I'm cool. Oh, he's a rapper. I'm next to a rapper. I'm cool now. Wow, I am cool. So start utilizing these people that want to stand next to rappers, want to stand next to, want to stand next to athletes, and want to act like they cool because they wasn't cool their whole life and they got bread. Start listen. Start utilizing these type of people and these resources to start and spend your influence in our community and give back to the right. community. And we once again, you don't have to take nothing out of your bank account. You don't have to stop buying your change. You don't have to do stop buying your, your your cars and none of that. None of that. Give back. You know, I'm a prime example. You know, uh, 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 Meek Mills leveraged his uh, you know, his connection with Puma, hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff for the kids in the community last Christmas. That was great. So what I'm saying is, this is simple things. Simple things. I knew about this way before it happened. We talked about that, but so it's like, how hard is that? Right. How hard is that? Do you? You know, what I mean, do that. Absolutely. <laughs> you don't have. You don't have to do something big as that. It ain't got to be $100,000 worth of stuff for the community. It could be something. It could be 10000 It could be something. And you could go back to your community. If everybody that made something happen from athletes to people that's not just athletes and the a, a rappers, people that's big in business. Mm-hmm. When you could go back to your community, shout out to Big Business. He do things for this community, for the kids and all. When you could go back to the community, your community, and put some just your personal community. Because all our community got somebody that made it happen. Reverend business, reverend sports, reverend music. If we start doing that, we'd be in a better position. Absolutely. And rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle because that's what he did. That's what he did, man. You know and, what and, I mean? And that's, everybody that's throwing Nipsey Nip up, make sure that you're taking that whole model and putting that in your mind. And it ain't about, you ain't got to help, but you could just go grab a little kid and just mentor him, get him some game. Right. You see what I'm saying? But all of us can help in some type of way, and we'd be better off as people, and we'd be in a better situation. But if you can, whenever you can, spin your influence. Spin that. Please connect with us. Yeah, but... uh. At the end of the day, I want to know who would you be. That's we we had this segment. Who would you be segment? That's what we had that segment of the show. Yeah. Explain the who would you be segment. Who would you be is if you die and can come back as these certain people. Now you know, Gil is you know I mean. He usually like to come up with people because I don't really have you know. There's a lot of people. Okay, so I I gotta come up with somebody. Well, who would you be then? Okay, so if you could come back as. Let me brace myself. Because last time it got real spicy. Gil. Gil, J. Gil. If you come back as Michael Jackson, Prince of James Brown, which one would you be? Woo! That's hard, man. I love to be all three of them. That's hard, man. Them dudes was legends. All of them. All of them was iconic okay, legends. Okay, so let me ask you a question. And he had that wet Jerry Curl hair. You know, I love the Jerry. The Curl was yeah, everything. Yeah, you love the drip. The Curl. The you, drip. The Curl. You can't the drip, drip, drip. The Curl. The drip. Like, dude, listen, when I was little, and I just see dudes jump out of their cars, they BMWs, whatever, you know what I mean? With the Jerry Curl. With the Jerry, with that you, thing hitting the Jerry. You the wanted a prom, you listen, wanted a prom listen, time listen, Dion pup bad. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I had one. When that I know, but the, your shit was when dry, that, though. When that, joint hit the, when that joint, when the drip hit the chains and all this, listen, right, because shit. listen, the activated juice used to activate the, the shine of the chains and, and the jury when them boys jump out and they looking like Mr. T. I mean, it'd be a whole different. I'd be like, yeah, I can't wait till I get older. Who I want my drip to be with. You had a yeah. curl though, but your Ooh. shit was driggity drip. His shit was driggity dry. Easy drip. Easy had a wild drip. Your shit wasn't dripping though. No, see, because you know when you got a real live Jerry curl, like. When your whole your whole collar, but you was you young because you were you ain't have enough. You was you you ain't you wasn't old enough to really take care of your shit. I had an Afro J curl. It can't really curl up like the way I want. But I would just be fascinated when a dude jump out of his car. He got all them chains on, and the jury just be you just see drip drag dripping off the jury <laughs> from from the jury, and the jury be sparkling in the sun. You be like, wow, I can't wait for my his whole neck be wet. You be like, yo, this dude's a legend. Like he's he's really that guy. I was fascinated by that shit. Man. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, so hold on, man. Tell me who would I be out of them three? <laughs> you never, you, you said, you no, threw me the I, fuck I, I, off. I, 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 he talked about how he fascinated he was with niggas with dripping hair. What is you talking no, I said, about? That's man? how I wanted mine to be. <laughs> he, he, 
Niggas jump out their hairs dripping. <laughs> the juice is dripping on their chains. The chains activated the glow. I was fascinated. With I wouldn't be that. I wouldn't be that. fuck are you I see talking how to... about? <laughs> you you want to come out the closet now? No, we come out now. Come on, Jay Gill. I don't, come listen, on, Spicy. You know, I don't discriminate. Come on, Spicy. You'll still be my motherfucking partner. No, this is what I'm saying, cuz. You just say what I ain't saying. Wild low or wild mo. Every time I look up. Listen, I'm not even going to every time I look up, Dev, Gina's slapping your kicks. Dev, you don't talk too much, Dev. But let me ask you a question. Gina's slapping your kicks. Is it me or did that sound a little kinky? No, back in the day when I was a kid and the old heads used to jump out with their hair dripping. <laughs> and the activator used to get on their jewelry and they activate the shine. Yeah. I used to be fascinated. It sounded like you wanted to drip on their chest. I, used, I just wanted what? to drip a little what? bit on me. Just what Karate Earl, are nothing you? on the chest. <laughs> right. What the fuck are you talking oh, about? Stop missing it. Oh, the fuck up. Hey, hold hey. up, hold up. Don't disrespect Earl in this process. Hey. You're not going to disrespect no martial artists in this fucking process. Oh, right. yeah. And you know what? Hold up. We're going we're gonna to change. We got to change the subject because this is some shit that I really got to talk about that really pissed me off. What? Like, I might really. Listen, because this this is right here. Mm -hmm. When I Listen, when I, when I catch this dude, it's on sight. It's on sight. Who? I'm, I'm, let me talk. Bruce Leroy, he was my sensei. You totally violated the code of conduct of the martial arts. Do you think you could go on another show and do an interview? You did an interview with DJ Vlad. You did an interview with Vlad TV. Let me explain something to you. The journey you took, I hope it's worth your blood. What? Hold on. Hold on, Lil. No, no, no. Listen, no, listen, no, listen, no, we're beefing right now. No, listen, stay listen. out of this. Stay out of this shit. <laughs> stay out of this shit, Gil. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. I will hit you with the claw in 1.3 seconds. Don't say shit. Let me tell you something. Growing up as a kid, I wanted to be you. I thought you was everything that mattered. To not just the arts world, to life. But how dare you disrespect me like that? This was supposed to be, you were supposed to be the first guest on this show. I didn't even tell Gil. I was going to surprise you, Gil. I didn't want you to know. Can I think you would have blocked my request? And you go on another show and, and disrespect everything that I established, everything that I become. You was my hero as a kid. You was Superman without the cape. You was Batman. You was Robin. And sometimes you was the Joker. Right now, you're the Joker. That's how I see you. I would never respect you again. Don't try to DM me and make peace. <laughs> when you I first see of all, you. fuck that. Fuck. You know he not going to DM you because you've been calling him since you fucking Betty. He don't answer. He don't fuck with you. It's not time He for met this. you. This is not you know, the time, He Gil. met you. He did the Gil, Hollywood Gil, please, shit please, and you please, salty. Please. No, hold on. This is not this the time is, for this. There's two parts of this don't show. Don't disrespect It's Gilly. Don't it's just, Wallace. Don't, not finish. Not, okay, let me finish. I, I got I to gotta say what I got to say to him. Okay, go ahead. When I see you, get in your stance. Be ready. One of us is going to walk away today. One of us is going to perish in the earth. There's no room on this planet for both of us. How dare you disrespect me? How dare you disrespect my status? I'm a grandmaster now. My rank is higher than yours. You will pay. Just know that. So when you see me, Bruce Leroy, you better run. I'm coming for you. All right. Now, all of this is all because he came home from prison. He wanted to meet Bruce Leroy. Don't mention his name on the show no more. All right. He took him up there. You met him. You thought y'all was friends. You leave all out. I'm going to hit you. i call you. Yeah. Uh. He like, mm, call me this nut ass nigga. Who the fuck is this nut ass nigga? He never said that. He, yes, didn't, he, did. I'm he didn't say no shit like I've that. I've seen it in his eyes. You don't even know the I've martial artist. The all connection right. that we have right. is martial artists. Okay. You're, not, you're not qualified There's to speak no about martial artists. There's no connection there. Hey, I told you about that shit. Playing. Don't play with me. Stop Don't play with me. Play with me. Talk. Don't never activate your feet on me. If you activate your feet again, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to treat you as a martial you, artist. You mad at me? I'm because going to treat you like a martial artist. You mad at me I'm because a grown Don't man won't call you back. A grown man won't fucking call you Don't back. Never you, you like keep, you're not qualified. He to called do me that. one day talking about cuz. He called me one day talking about cuz. Come on, though. You fucking shit up, man. He called me one day talking about cuz. I really got an issue with it, this dude. This the third stay time. I, this the you third time. This the third out time out I called him. He ain't hit me back. I told you back then. That was that Hollywood no, shit. It wasn't. Where no, he was it wasn't. like, get with no, me. No, it wasn't. Call me. 
That's that Hollywood shit. That's that Jay Z pub shit. They don't really be call me no, he didn't when say, they do that shit. He didn't shit. say call me because like, he didn't give me his like, number. Like when motherfuckers, he didn't bumping, give me his number. He didn't say call. Bumping to me on the we don't streets. have to call. We have mutual. And motherfuckers, and it's like we don't handle business together. Why would we? Why would I call you? Like I'm like call me, get with me. I don't really mean that shit, bro. It's like my nigga. Oh, so you Hollywood do <laughs> sometimes. Fuck it, you talk about you. Okay, how? What I'm gonna do? Yo, Gil, man, let me get your number, man. Let's get up. Fuck no. <laughs> What the fuck I, would I, I get? Listen. Hold on. Why the fuck would I get your bum ass that ain't Thank doing no, nothing but popping Zannies Monday through Sunday? My number, nigga. Tell me why, nigga. Let me explain uh, something What, I'm you. supposed to say that? No. So I'll be, all right, cool, man. Yeah, man. Hit me up. Get with me. Right. That's that's. Sometimes you got to have that rap. That's a part of life, bro. Let me say that's something That's better than me offending somebody and being like, oh, Gil, I rap, man. Let me, let me get your some, number. Let me say something you to you. You fucking whack as shit. Me, Why would I give you. you my number? Let me say something to you right now. We're going to leave. We're going to leave Bruce Lee Roy alone. That's not for this. We're going to leave that moment alone. Okay? We're going to move on. <laughs> All right, bro. We're just going to move on. Because I don't want to I don't want to tap into that type of... It's emotional for me. Because I have to... When I see him, it's on. I had to, you know... So it's you... It's emotional. It's an emotional situation. All right. He, he will pay. He will pay. He's going to pay. You hear me? Get emotional. He's going to pay. Let me explain something to you. So now we're going to go into another. Another. I, I utilize his voice because when I'm talking about the arts, I'm deep. But uh, once again, Gilly, don't never, don't you ever activate your feet on me again. Because now I have to see you as a martial artist and I have to treat you as such. And I don't think you want to be treated in that department of life. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I, I so back to who next would you time be? I'm activate that so, heat or hit so, 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 back to, so back to who would you be? Let me explain something to you. So back to who would you be? Let me explain something to you. That's rough. That's hard. Because James, the big payback. Prince. Raspberry Beret. Like he's he was something special. Like he was like I really I really dig his whole move. His whole but I could I could I could really picture you more as Prince. You know why? Because I could see you like being outside, tight ass jeans on, some high heels, purple rain, purple rain. So you know I could, what? I could, I could really so you know picture what? I, that. I, 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 I'm not sure. I could picture that. I'm, I'm really not sure, but I'm thinking you're really trying to slander <laughs> slander Prince. I think <laughs> you're trying to wait. Hold on. Princeton with high heel shoes. Yeah, but I think you're trying to hate on him. I, I don't Wait, know. Wait, who the Princeton with high heel shoes? I don't know how to receive it. I was I'm just, not hating. I, I would just say this. Facts. I would I just say hate. this. I would just say this. That's I'd not be, even. In, that's not even a part of my nature. I'll be James Brown. I could Brown. just. I could. I'll be James, be James Brown. Brown. Just give it with that. Well, I'll be James Brown. Why you wouldn't be MJ, the, the greatest of all time? I'm not going to speak on MJ. He's a legend. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm just going to. I'm going to leave it there. Let's, let's keep to stay clean. <laughs> stay clean. No below the belt. Let's stay there. We're going to move on. No disrespect. He's a legend. Rest, rest in peace to the legend. I respect all the legends. Rest now, in peace to the legends. Now, 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 here we go, man. We're going to talk about an incident that took place. We're going to talk about back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the day, we was on a... I, I, I'm going to give you my side of the story, and then you can understand me, so you won't say that I was I was punking out or I was a chump. We was on the subway. <coughs> Philadelphia subway. Just, just let me, come on. We was on the Philadelphia subway, so it was a guardian angel on there. <laughs> Now, one thing about the Guardian Angels, one thing that me and the Guardian Angels, we only had one thing in Guardian common. Guardian Angels both, was nut-ass niggas. We both, we both was martial artists. Now, a lot of you kids out <laughs> there probably- Those niggas wasn't no martial artists. Yes, they was. Yes, they was. Don't disrespect that. <laughs> let's, listen, let's, I'm going to just say this. The Guardian Angel guys was a group of individuals out of New York, right? And what they did is they go to some type city, some of them, and what they do, they just they just crime stoppers. Like, you might be doing something you ain't supposed they to be doing. They legendary nut-ass niggas. No, they didn't know that. Yes, they were. It wasn't. I'm not going to. You wanted to be what? No, I did. What you no, I did. Don't do that. You did no, want to no, be I a did. vigilante. No, I was no, a vigilante. Oh, no, I was no, a vigilante. No, no, I did my own stuff. No, I was by myself. No, no. What's them niggas that wore the hats with the joint on top? That's the guardian angel. Yeah, you wanted to be a fucking guardian angel. No, I wasn't. You I was did. my own thing. I was my own thing. Listen, I was a vigilante by you myself. You wanted to be guardian low. I was by myself. I was a vigilante. <laughs> now listen. This is what happened. This is what happened. So we're on the sub. I'm minding my business. La di da di da di da. I'm smoking. He's smoking a little, uh, he's smoking a roach, a, a roach blunt that he got out of somebody's ashtray because he was smoking, it, it, and it was Reggie. It was Reginald. 
So Reggie, Reggie Miller from the three. It was so listen, Reggie. It was Reggie. So listen, he's smoking Reggie. Still smoking now. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna debate that. So now I'm chilling, minding my business, and I peep. Once I notice, I said, okay, he, you know, they they want to be what I am, a vigilante. So I peeped. I said, okay, he's doing his thing out here. Okay. So Gil's smoking. He walked right over to Gil, tapped him. Excuse me. Could you put that out? Because there was no smoking on the subway. He said, excuse me. You see the sign? He pointed to the sign. Gil looked at him like. He was a bitch ass nigga. If you don't get the <laughs> out of here. So I said, oh, man, it's ready to get dangerous in here. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm already educated in this guy's work. You I don't activated know. retreat mode, you bitch. No, no, I didn't have to activate <laughs> retreat. Because me and this guy is doing the same stuff out here. But I'm a little higher ranked than him. He's nobody. You jumped on his side. I didn't jump on the side. Yes, you did. I said, listen, put the, I said, cuz. Put, put the weed out. out. Put the reef out. I told That's you. What you said. I said, put the reef out. I said, cuz. I said, cuz. I said, cuz. I said, cuz. After I talked to that man and that man stepped back and did some listen, listen, shit, like this. Well, I'm like, dog, I don't give a fuck about that shit. This is what I said. You can, you can get in whatever type of stance you want to get in. You talk about cuz, put the reef out. I told cuz. I said, cuz. It ain't no smoking. Put the reef out. You done. I said, cuz. I said, cuz. Put the reef out. And I didn't say, I said it in kind waves. And me, because dude already, dude acknowledged like this guy know that I know something and I know that he knows something. So I'm like, what? No, he acknowledged that. He acknowledged he my presence acknowledge because it was a stance that I was in. I was like, cuz he didn't know shit, and you didn't know shit. No, no, no. He no. just was a lame ass nigga who wanted to be fucking a superhero, riding the subs, trying to tell motherfuckers what to do until one motherfucker blacked the shit out his eyes, and then his whole uh, career is over. That's how so, that usually. So this go. what happened. Let me let me explain what happened. I mean, you, you, no, no. We're going to break all this down. So I say, Gil, put the reefer out. Said, Go ahead, put it you out. You didn't say it like that, you lying. How did I say it? <laughs> he said, yo, you can't smoke in here, whatever he said. I was like, man, get the fuck out of here, man. Fuck is you talking what to? What did I say? Oh, you talk to me like that. He stepped back. He stepped right back. I'm like, you can get in whatever I fucking told, stance said, you want to get in. I said, put the reef out. And I you said, cuz, cuz, put the reef out. You can't smoke in here, cuz. Just put it out. You lie, you That's lie what you me. said. You no, because nigga. everybody know that <laughs> when I everybody know that when I'm in martial art mode, I speak different. You were in martial I, art mode. I speak because I'm giving you a way out. And I'm giving people a way out when I speak the All way right. I speak. So I'm telling you, like, and this dude identified that I know something, and I know that he knows something, so we both know something, so we don't want to go through nothing. So at the end of the day, no, at the end of the day, listen, listen to what happened. At the end of the day, I'm trying to get you out of this. I'm like, because what he did when he stepped back, he's giving you a way out. And I understand what was going <laughs> no, on. No, he wasn't. I was going to give so, him so, a way to so fuck this, up. So this is what happened. This is what happened. So I'm standing back. I stand down. I'm like, I'm going to stand down on this thing. I'm not even going to get involved. First of all, you know back then I was a young Thundercat. You listen, know I had that cooker on me. Yeah, but you ain't pulling out. You was like, no, thing. I didn't have to. Listen, because I was happened. like, you play with me <laughs> if you want. I'm a, I'm a, you going to catch this shit in mid-flight. No, wow. no, but this is what happened. But this is what happened. He still ain't pulling out. This is what the dude did. The dude backed up in the stance. I seen the bitch in your eyes. I seen you know it you in you. I seen it in you. It no, came you out. Didn't. Patty LaBelle came out. No, you didn't. <laughs> what? <laughs> Patty LaBelle. You know who came out? Uh, 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 uh. What's the name? What's the girl name? Uh, uh. That, it seemed like that song just came out. Cause, cause listen, that fear that was in your eyes. No, the fear was no, in your name? fucking no, eyes. Came out. Put it out, no, listen, listen, listen. What's the name came out in his eyes? When, but listen, when the dude threatened him, he seen him stand. That what's the name came out with me. What? I'm every woman. Get the fuck he was scared to death. He was so bad. <laughs> He was scared to death. I'm like, yo. So First listen, of all, if I was all scared, I'd have never talked all to him listen, like that. All dude did is, Gil had his head. Dude go to try to slap your head. Gil pulled back. Like, tell him, you don't know, do that again. So I read, listen, listen. I'm just sitting back. I'm like, I told Gil. He did try to slap listen, that shit. I told Gil. I'm like, head. listen. I step back, right? And Gil look at me like, Gil look at me like, do you see this motherfucker? You, I know he just tried to do what he just tried to do. I said, Gil, no, listen. I no, tell the truth. Wait, tell the truth. I looked over at you, and I'm like, I'm about to swing on this nigga, and then we going to roll on this nigga. Uh, no, no, and I you was didn't not want agree. no fucking parts. I wasn't agreeing to that. You weren't agreeing. He's you a martial artist. No parts. Listen, martial you artist was supersede bitching. No, cuz. Martial artist supersede No, cuz. Just chill. No, he going to put it out. No, no, this is what I did. You were here. When I he, stepped he argue, in. He come with me, but you take it up for him. He going to put it out. No, when I stepped in. He going to put it out. Whoa. Put it out, cuz. Listen, when I stepped in. Ain't no smoking down here. I'm trying to roll on a nigga. Come on, dog. When I stepped in. No. No, don't do it. When I stepped in, the game was over. Because I stepped in, and I stepped in, and I sealed the deal. No, I didn't. Don't do that. Don't lie on my mom. My rep is on the line. Don't do that. My rep is on the line. I got a lot of martial artist students to look at. Don't, hey. never just, don't, never try to, hey. don't never try to put smut on my name. There's a lot of, a lot of martial artist students I got out there. I got dojos building. 
Don't disrespect my name. <laughs> you messing my brain up. But listen, so on and so on, what happened was, I'm looking at him, because Gil looked at me like, I know this mother that didn't try to do this. I look at him immediately and say, I'm like this, Gil, let it go, please. <laughs> let it go. Dude tried it again, man. Gil, 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 brand, he didn't pull the gun out, but he like grabbed it and brandished it like, yeah. And like, what yeah. happened? He retreated. And what happened? He retreated. He retreated. He, retreated. he, retreated. he was smart. <laughs> He was smart. He was smart. I done did the same thing. He said, you got to know where to hold thing. them. Know where to fold them. Know where to walk listen, away. Know where to listen, run. Listen, 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 you I'm never did. snack no reefer. Listen, when he's smoking listen, in the listen, subway. Listen, I done did the same Follow thing. Please the shit no, out but of listen, But listen, he retreated in a way that was, that was listen, the way he retreated, like he, he put a blemish on his jacket, man. His rap was on line. Because he ain't retreat like me. Like me. I would have treated, I would have retreated in the karate real man. I would have hopped on my tippy toes and bounced back a little bit. He retreated, like, ah, hold up. <laughs> no, because like, you know why? You know why? One one thing about us, and when we was younger, all the shit we was into, we didn't look like we was into that shit. So not in a million years did that man think. I had that goddamn cooker on me. Then I, then he tried to slap the joint. I said, yo, what the fuck is you doing, man? Yeah, that was everything, and, uh, man. Most niggas would have been, I start sitting there talking crazy to him. We having a whole verbal, you in ultra bitch mode. Cuz, let's put the reef out. He going to put it out. Closer, he try to act like he get to be. You get louder. He going to put it out. He going <laughs> to put it out. I know, I know, I know. I know it's probably cuz put it out. I'm like this. I knew his, I knew his status by, the, by that here. stance. I knew his ranking. I knew his ranking in martial arts by the stance. When he stepped back in the, and he stance, I said, "Oh, I know this yeah, guy." I knew dangerous. his ranking too. His ranking was gonna be stanking out and put that fucking thing off my hip. <laughs> Soon he thought it was. A, <laughs> he peeped it. He peeped it. If you would have brandished that joint, he jumped off his up. He didn't jump off and move his up. Because I was like, oh, shit, it's going down. That almost became the worst day of his fucking life. Yeah, me playing superhero on the fucking subway. Yeah, I would have done that like that. When I when I came in the, and, and the things like that, I, I hit the road. <laughs> hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back. I, <laughs> I play that shit. I know where to hold it, know where to fold it, man. I ain't going out like that. You ain't going out like Willie Love Love. I ain't going out like that, man. But listen, man, at the end of the day, it's like, at the end of the day, when I sit back and look at it, man, I've really been through some real live battles. I've been in some battles. I know just what Karate Girl used to teach you alone, you know. True warrior name? doesn't wear drawers. <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. I will never forget no, you no, told no, me no, no, Karate Girl told you. I told you about that. Don't disrespect Earl. I told you about that shit. <laughs> Last time I'm telling you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna snatch this. I'm gonna flip this table in here. It's the last time. Wow, so because hold on, you gonna flip a table up because that nigga told you when you come see me at the park. <laughs> don't lie. Nothing don't on lie, your Earl. feet. Nothing on your chest. He and didn't a true say warrior that. doesn't he didn't wear say that. draws. He didn't say that. They can battle on the raw. Today I'm gonna teach you the all-out bun grip. Break your rib. <laughs> when we're done, I'm gonna break your ribs. I gotta make an example out of you because people, people, you know, people out here to be trying to step to me on the streets, and I get, as soon as I get in my stance, they stand, they stand down. <laughs> I, I, I've never seen that. But. People do <laughs> because they think that stuff you say, you, your followers, they don't know that I am who I am, but they'll find that I am who I am when I do what I do. Okay, well, one day that'll come, man. This is million dollars worth of game. I'm Gilly the King. But hold up, before we end, uh, anybody, shit, anybody man. interested in merch? Check us out right here. Wham, as you oh, see this yeah, pop up on the right screen. Shout out to merch, huh? Merch, million dollars worth of game. Go Shirts, hats, coffee mugs. All different flavors. All different flavors. Anybody want to book us? All different colors. They want to book us to have us at one of the events or whatever's going on. Hit us up, man. Man, I'm Wallow267, a.k.a. Grandmaster Low, a.k.a. When I see Bruce Leroy, I'm going to beat his ass, a.k.a. Million dollars worth of game. I got to smoke this is Gilly the King, man. I got to do a bunch of AKs to AK Gil Smith, AKA, AKA Spike G, AKA when I'm doing pornos, I'm Gilly D. Williams, AKA. AKA Peanut Gallery. Oh, so. Yeah, they okay. killed you with that, didn't they? No, he didn't. It's a million dollars worth of game, and we out of here. Million dollars worth of game, million dollars worth of game. And it's just like that. Right.